Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, great to see you all. Uh, feels like it's been a while because the last one I had actually was in a small parade for a friend's uh, daughter's birthday. Um, but I'm back. Yesterday was my birthday. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you're here. Um, you may notice the lights in the back. I still gotta focus those. I just got a curtain literally two seconds ago. I'm about to hang up back here. So things are looking good in the Jason Tardy Garage Studio Performance Center. Oh, that's good. You got, help me. If you guys have some ideas for names of what I should call my little theater in the garage, um, yeah, let me know. Put in the comments, write down some ideas. I like this idea. We'll have a naming contest. If you can think of a cool name for this little theater in my garage, um, then write it in the comments. Hi, Dad. Uh, yeah, and also say hi in the comments. Let me know you're here. Uh, I got a few really fun ideas that people came up with, uh, challenges for me to do today. So I'm ready to get uh, to that. It looks like we got Rachel here, Christy's here, my mom is here, my dad is here. It's like a day after my birthday. I still got plenty of pie, Mom, plenty of cake. My wife bought me three packages of Oreos. I am ready to go. So uh, let's get right to it. Um, there was a lot of great ideas. Let's see, Dave Rowe. Uh, some of you might know Dave Rowe. He's a really uh, accomplished musician. You should check him out. I think he's been doing some live streaming concerts as well. He was saying how he was on a boat and he wanted me to juggle three anchors. And I was like, yeah, let me look around and see if I have any anchors. And you know what? Just before I went live, I thought, oh, I have something that might actually work for this. Hey, Bucky, how's it going? Um, so, I don't have three anchors, but Dave might appreciate this. I do have these. <laughs> these are obviously horseshoes, um, and they're really heavy and pretty hard to juggle. And I think they'd be pretty comparable to a uh, boat anchor. Uh, Josh and Brooks say hi. Oh, awesome. Mike Menez is watching. Cool. So, I'm going to juggle three horseshoes. Now, normally when I juggle things like rings that are shaped kind of like this, it's pretty easy. You just throw it. It's not a ton harder than a juggling ball. It's like a little bit harder. But the big problem with this is if I go to catch it like this, there is a big hole. So, it's almost like juggling a ring and juggling a knife or something where you don't want to catch the wrong end. Because if you do, uh, you'll either cut yourself, burn yourself, or in this case, I'll just miss it completely and break a toe. So, what's the worst that could happen? Um, happy 41 years! <laughs> Alright, so three boat anchors, but again, these are actually just uh, horseshoes. But I think it still work. So let me get over here, I think I'm lined up. I'm gonna do a practice little. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I might take it a few tries. Here we go. Three bow anchors, aka horses. Yeah! Nailed it! Ow! Uh, that was a dumb joke. <laughs> So that was fun. That was fun. I, I, so sometimes when you guys give me like ideas that are totally impossible, it actually makes me think and go, wait, I have something that might actually work. So boat anchors actually kind of work. Um, Tim Gagnon wanted to see me juggle blindfolded, which I think I have actually done on here before, but I'll do it again real quick. Um, and I know sometimes people don't believe my blindfold. This is a blindfold. Um, let me actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I did this last time too. In my live uh, streaming shows, I do this as well. I put this bag over my head. That way people don't think it's a fake blindfold or anything crazy like that. So I'll do it that way. And I'll juggle three juggling clubs. So actually, let me move my little table. There, there. All right, I should have warmed this up and practiced. <laughs> All right, this might be, Couple tries. Hopefully, I'm still in frame. Oh. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. This is not supposed to be perfect. This is live entertainment. Stuff I don't normally do in my show. Let me actually, hold on. Let me try to. Huh? Okay. Much better. Alright, here we go. 
This thing is distracting all, and I can't breathe. Two out of three. All right, here we go. There it is. I cut out a little early on that one. I was scared I was gonna drop it. Juggling blindfolded, definitely a tough trick. Um, actually, there are ways of doing it where you juggle off your chest, where I can feel where the balls, juggling balls are. That actually does make it a little better. Oh, Andrew Silver is watching. That's cool, awesome. All right, so yeah, say hi. And again, if you weren't here in the very beginning, I was just thinking it'd be fun. I got some curtains I'm putting up. I'm kind of sprucing up this thing. So if you have ideas of what I should call uh, the Jason Tardy Garage Performing Art Center, uh, <laughs> whatever, write some ideas in the comments. Also, if you have some ideas for next show, which is coming up on Friday at one o'clock, write some ideas down there. I got my notepad, I'll write them down, try to get to it next week. Uh, or maybe I'll try to throw it in today, who knows? Let's see, so that was, we got the anchors. Okay, Jesse Gilbert, uh, he's always got some great ideas. Um, and he said a straw, a lollipop, and a sledgehammer. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Uh, don't have a sledgehammer. So I asked him like, what about a straw, a candy cane, and a battle axe? And he said, sounds good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have the, where did I put the, oh, right here. The straw. And I actually don't have plastic straws. I know you might think I'm cheating because I'm using a metal straw, but really I don't have plastic straws. Uh, this is my candy cane. The color of this makes me think uh, Easter, but I know the kids didn't get any for Easter this year. So this might be a couple years old. Uh, and then battle axe, all right? And you can tell I made this battle axe. They do sell juggling battle axes, but I don't like the way they spin. This one actually is a little better balanced, but it is made from a real saw blade. So this is about the sharpest thing I've ever juggled. <laughs> I've actually cut my yoga ball, which some of you may have seen me stand on. I cut my yoga ball wide open after uh, doing a stunt with this. So, all right, here we go. I'm not sure the best way to start this. I think the best way to start is not hitting myself in the face with the ax. That's the best. Okay, here we go. Straw, balance, candy, balance. Yes! Oh, I want to chop something with this right now. I don't know where, I, I'm not gonna do it. All right, <laughs> cool. Um, so we got that, we got that. Oh, Doris gave me a really, really hard one. Um, and I tried it like for two seconds. Um, and that's really, when, when you guys give me ideas, sometimes I do practice things. Thanks for the applause, Bucky. But most of the time, I kind of like the idea of just trying it for the first time right here for you guys. I think that's more fun. Um, but every once in a while, I do warm up a few things. This one, I tried it for about two seconds. Um, it's really hard. She said, a piece of rice. I, part of me thinks I could just not do the rice and you guys wouldn't know the difference, but I'll do it for real. A piece of rice, a macaroni, and a strand of spaghetti. And I assume she did mean uncooked, all of these things. So that's what I have. I bought, I got a little bowl here. So here's my macaroni from my vegan mac and cheese. I got my piece of rice. Believe it or not, there's a piece of rice between my fingers. And spaghetti, I got a few pieces of spaghetti over here. All right, so this is like, really great for live streaming. You guys won't be able to see half of what I'm doing or probably uh, two thirds of what I'm doing, but I'll try it. All right, here we go. I have no idea where the other two went. I still have the spaghetti. Let's try it again. I got, I got a bowl of these just because I knew this would probably happen. When I practiced it, I was able to get a few throws, but this might be one of those things where she came up with an idea that's just way too hard. All right, I'm gonna get this spaghetti. There we go. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I lost the spaghetti that time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where's the piece of rice like between my fingers? I'm probably gonna start losing viewers because this is so hard to see what's happening. All right, where's the rice? Rice here. Okay, I got the rice. That. Oh, I got like four or five throws. It's as good as it gets. 
Good as it gets. All right, I am done with that. Okay, moving on. Let's see, we got that. We got that. Um, blindfold. Oh, okay. All right, so I think we just got one more. Um, again, sorry, Bucky. Um, uh, if you do have any ideas for my performing arts center here in the garage, let me know. Next time you see it, it's gonna look pretty snazzy. Um, and that's all thanks to people supporting what I do. Uh, Bucky being one of them, Jesse, um, a whole bunch of people out there have been uh, sending me tips via my tip jar, which there's a link there. Um, and that really does help me. This is my job, it's what I do for a living. Um, I'm doing it partly for that, but really, I also love to give back to you guys because what I like to do um, is make people laugh, make people happy, and that is my job. So I really appreciate any tips you guys want to send my way, but also I want you to enjoy this and not feel like you have to, all right? So keeping it moving. Oh, but feel free to share this video and let people know that I do, uh, I'm working on doing fundraisers now. Uh, which is kind of cool, live streaming shows, fundraisers, uh, school program I got coming up this week, and birthday parties too. They've all been really, really fun. And personalized birthday like videos, that's really cool too. So to end this one, um, let's see, uh, Anthony wanted me to juggle three apples and eat them, right? You've heard of that. Juggle three apples and eat them, but he wanted me to juggle three apples and eat them until they were gone. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I ran out of apples. I don't have any apples. Uh, we need to do some grocery shopping. And we limit that, of course, with what's going on, uh, how many times we go out. So um, I said, you know what? I got a lot of Oreos. And he said, yeah, do Oreos. And then uh, Sarah uh, on there also agreed. And then somebody mentioned, I think it was Anthony mentioned, oh, you should dunk milk. Uh, oh, Anthony's here, cool. All right, so listen, I got it. I got it set up. I got a table, okay. I'm gonna adjust the camera so we can see the table better. Cause I think I'm gonna be like right here. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, it's hard for me to see everything that I'm getting. Cool. So we're gonna put the milk. Got my vanilla almond milk. There. Oreos now. Being, I'm trying to get into frame now. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you're happy, Anthony. Uh, being vegan, uh, I do eat junk food still, okay? I don't, I'm not vegan because it's like supposed to be healthy. I eat tons of junk. Um, but I do try to also eat healthy. My wife for my birthday got me some Oreos. She got me a few different kinds. We got here the caramel coconut. We're gonna take one of those. Boom. Also, I got chocolate Marshmallow, these are really good. They got little bits of marshmallow in the cookie part. Oh, very good. My favorite, by the way, of all the flavors is Rocky Road. It's very hard to find. I don't think they make it anymore. We've looked. And then this is a brand new one. The last one. Tiramisu. All right, so, <laughs> tiramisu. So, I'm gonna finish this off by juggling, dunking them in the milk, possibly spilling milk everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bucky, you didn't know I was vegan? That's funny. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna juggle them, dunk them, eat them until they're gone. So this might end terribly. Um, if I feel like I'm gonna barf, I'll make sure I go off camera. Oh, we're getting more viewers. <laughs> and the dunking part, I've never tried this before, so I don't know how easy or hard that's gonna be. I'm pretty sure my hand is gonna get wet, which is not gonna make this easy. So here we go. Big finale, eating three Oreos, dunking them in milk until they're gone. Whatever that means. That could be open to interpretation. Here we go. All right, juggling three Oreos, got it. Take a bite of one, I don't know which flavor. No idea. All right, gonna dunk it in milk. I <laughs> missed! Oh, the Oreos are very sticky. Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah, dunk. Mm. 